Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Andy from Big Max Workshop and Studios. So today I'm painting a Eldar Wave Serpent. Uh, first time I've ever done one of these, and I have to admit it was an absolute blast of paint. Now, this is going up um, on eBay uh, for the cheapest amount we could possibly put it down for. So uh, if you're interested, get yourself a deal now uh, after you've watched this video. So as you can see, I started off with a off-white grey primer uh, by uh, Vallejo. And I'm just putting some shading down with the airbrush, uh, which is used standard grey from Model Air. Now, that was just put in, in all the recesses, just get a bit of um, tonal change into the uh, in, in, into the paintwork as I don't normally work with white so uh, I had to put some more definition into it and obviously you'll see why in the, in the near future so um, now I'm working on um, on the back end with uh, Vallejo uh, Black Primer now this is going to give me uh, that sort of uh, gradient uh, fade look, uh, which you'll see, which you see on the um, on the on the intro picture. Now, so I'm getting nice good coverage of uh, of the black hole over the back end of the vehicle, um, and that allows me just to uh, get um, plenty of red on there just to bring it up nicely. So now I'm putting the pale grey blue from Model Air over the top on the more raised regions. So what I'm doing is actually putting a full white paintwork over the um, base of the Wave Serpent as that is going to allow me to put the masking tape on for the um, Zach Jack sort of um, stylization on it and the highlights were, uh, was done in uh, Vallejo model color off-white just on a, um, really raised regions and, uh, and all over where um, the tape's going to be because that's going to make sure that everything's on nice and uh, nice and bright after that I uh, put a gloss varnish over the top of the entire thing uh, to make sure that when I do take the tape off, the paintwork doesn't come off with it. Uh, I've done that a few times before, and the paints come off with the uh, with the tape. So I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen in this time because I really wanted to get a good finish. So I put the uh, patterning down. I sort of trim the. Tamiya masking tape into sort of loosely triangular shapes and then um, put them down in sort of a, an uneven pattern. I didn't try to get, for, get a mirror image uh, as I knew that wasn't going to happen so I just decided to not try it all and just go for two, two patterns that all look the same, have the same sort of style but are uh, individual at the same time. And there I am just double checking the tape making sure it's on properly and I'm going straight over the top with Vallejo Model Air Scarlet Red. I'm just going a couple of very gentle coats, making sure it's going on properly and um, and in thin coats, as I want a good coverage over the entire thing. Now I didn't use the primer uh, because I might be in a bit too thick, and when I take the um, when I take the tape off, I didn't want to ruin the paintwork again. Uh, again, I don't want to ruin the paintwork. And there we go, I'm back. I'm going over the entirety of the back with the red, but very gently so I'll get that sort of blended effect. This makes it just look that much more interesting rather than just a flat straight red uh, over the entire vehicle. I want something to, I want to push myself a little bit and just try something look, looking a little bit cooler than I normally do. A little bit more interesting. Um, and like I said, this was the first time I've ever done an Eldar vehicle, so I want to really go for it and just have a bit of fun.
So once I've got the, um, the base uh, red down, I uh, put a couple of gentle highlights on it uh, uh, over the regions with um, bloody red towards the uh, tops of the uh, weaponry and, uh, and um, orange. Uh, they're both uh, again below. Uh, one of the, the bloody red is game colour, model, orange is um, model colour. As you can see, I'm just taking my time, taking the uh, tape off. Um, there's no rush with this, you want to just get it off ever so gently. So you don't want to uh, ruin the paintwork underneath or any of the additional paintwork uh, from the uh, base red colour. And here I'm using a sharp uh, knife, and that just allows me to be able to peel the tape ever so gently. Um, just take your time and uh, don't worry about the paintwork. If as long as you've let it dry thoroughly, it'll not, it shouldn't come off to um, in any uh, meaningful way. So once I've got all the tape down, tape removed, I went back over the white. Uh, I decided it wasn't as bright as I'd like it to be. So I went back over, just tidied up the edges and uh, getting a bit of highlight in the centre, which was done with um, the low model colour off-white, uh, which then allowed me to highlight the upper edges with a uh, pure white. And I just took my time using uh, thin coats with the smallest brush I had. So, here we are, I'm doing the Spirit Stones, uh, which was based with Caliban Green uh, in a, a sort of a half corner from the middle to the bottom. Um, uh, that was multiple thin layers. It probably took about four layers because I had the paint that thin. And then the next layer was strapping green. Again, really, really thin, making sure that the gradient was ever so natural. Over the top of the strapping green was Elysian green. Uh, again, cutting the a painted area of the green in half, so the Caliban is approximately half of the um, half of the, uh, the section. The Strachan was half of that. The Elysian again half of that. Uh, with the edge highlights done in white uh, in opposite corners to make it look like it's got a lens flare. Um, really making it shine and stand out. So the faceplate on the Eldar uh, pilot was just in model colour blue. Um, I decided to go for some uh, for non-standard colours as I wanted him to look separate from the look separate from the um, from the vehicle itself so I kept the armor black uh, which was highlighted up in etching grey and the flesh was done in Cadian flesh tone uh, by a games workshop and then highlighted with light flesh by uh, by Vallejo all the underneath um, and the metals were done in gunmetal I just got it uh, on there with a nice big brush, washed it with non oil, just to add a bit of definition. Obviously, I didn't go over, over the top underneath, as no one's ever, no one's ever going to see it. 
but I want it to make, be a, a complete paintwork. Once the non oil had dried, I dry brushed the entirety of the under, undercarriage with flat silver. Uh, just a gentle dry brush uh, with the silver, just to tidy up a bit. And that was done across all the paintwork. The trims on the thin sections, I suppose I couldn't call it, was just edged in ashen grey again, as were the barrels on the uh, various different weapons. Now I've made it so you can use either the shuriken cannons or the twilling catapults for the underneath uh, front weapon, and the, the uh, turret weapon is made to have either the catapults of bright lance or the scout lasers. Uh, I didn't do the fusion cannon or the missile launcher as I weren't aware if didn't know if you could have them on a on a wave serpent or not. Once the uh, first highlight in Eshin Grey had been done, I did a 50-50 mix of Eshin Grey and a uh, bit of what and, and white just to get a nice second edge highlight on there as well just to really make the lines pop on the uh, on the weaponry I didn't go over the top of it I wanted the weaponry to be more subdued that's why I went for the black it stands out nicely against the um, red uh, fuselage of the vehicle but doesn't take away too much now on the shuriken cannons and catapults uh, I based the um, ammunition feed in beige brown by model colour uh, which was then washed in agrax I then brought the colour back up again with beige brown once I dried it went up to up shabsy bone by games workshop to make it look more bone like rather than uh, just some brown mess. Once the upshotty bone had dried, I then did a first highlight with screw skull um, and then just touched it over with a little bit of um, white as well just to bring out a little bit. And then we go back to uh, back to the main the canopy of the vehicle. Uh, the edge highlights were done in either screaming uh, Evilson Scarlet or Check my notes. Uh, Scarlet Red. Now, the reason I use both colours is Evil Sun. Evil Sun's would look really out, out of place on the front end of that, on, on the back end, uh, which was actually quite nicely worked with the Scarlet instead. Anyway, that's the um, finished product. As you can see, it was pretty snazzy. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to, um, like to see more of our stuff, like and subscribe, check us out on Patreon, we're just starting up on that, and check out on eBay if you're interested in buying something like this. Okay guys, take care, have fun, and see you soon.